Hi, if you're watching this video, I need your help. This is my first YouTube video with my face in it. And what that means is my lighting could be bad, my audio could be awful, and I could be going in and out of focus throughout the entire length of this video. You see, it's hard to judge something if you made it yourself. And that is exactly why I need your help. Please watch this video to the very end and then go down in the comment section below and give me your feedbacks. Am I properly late? Can you hear me properly? Am I in focus the entire time of this video? And anything else that you believe could help me improve the quality of my videos. Thank you very much. Just before we dive into our video where I show you how to use CapCut and add beautiful captions to your videos, my name is Heidi and during my free time, amongst other things, I enjoy making content. But what I love the most about creating content is when I show you the behind the scenes and how I edited everything on my social media feed. So if you're like me and you enjoy making content, thinking about making content, or you just like watching other people do it, then you're in the right place. So go ahead and tap on the subscribe button and also hit the bell icon so that you receive notifications every time I upload a brand new video. Plus you have an opportunity to be a part of my first 1000 subscribers, something I look forward to having. First, you wanna go ahead and download your CapCut app if you don't already have it. Once you do, go ahead and launch CapCut. And then you want to go ahead and tap on new project. Find a video you want to add captions to and tap on oh add. Now this next part is optional, but if you're going to be posting your videos to TikTok as well, then I recommend you do it. We're going to go back and go to Google Chrome and type TikTok safe area PNG and then search. And the very first image you have is this one right here. Go ahead and save it and then close that. Go back to CapCut, find overlay, tap on add overlay, find your image and add. Next, you wanna go ahead and extend your image the full length of the video. Then using two fingers, go ahead and scratch the image up on the screen to fit exactly over our video. All right. Now what we have here is to save space on TikTok so we know exactly where to place our text so as not to have our text covered by the like function, the share function that you have on the side of TikTok. You want to go down to the left where you find the two arrows on top one of another, tap that until you get to this um, screen, right? Then go ahead and tap on text and then tap on auto captions. Then I'm going to tap on start. All right, so go ahead and hit the arrow here to go back and tap on the check mark. All right, here we can see CapCut already added the captions, but we need to customize them to our liking. Go ahead and highlight the first piece of text below, this one right here, and then triple tap on it, one, two, three, and it's gonna get, bring us here where we can edit the text. All right, my name is misspell, so I'm gonna correct that, which is something you can do as well. And then um, I like to format my text on top of one of another, like that. Next, I'm gonna choose my font. I like the gumbo, but you can use, of course, any one you want from these, right? Next, I'm gonna select the style. And I like the black and yellow. It just kind of cuts it for me. And uh, I'm not gonna add effect or any animation. I'm just gonna leave it like that. But if you wanted to, there are a lot of them you could use as well, right? But I'm gonna leave it just like that. So I'm gonna tap on check. Now, using just two fingers, you want to pinch out your text to the size that you find okay. All right. So as you can see, we have that correctly. Oh my God, Heidi, those were four words. And by the way, I like to stick with four words and not more. Depending on the length of the words, sometimes I go uh, more or less, but I like to stick around four words because they just fit perfectly uh, in my opinion. What you need to do next is to listen to your video and find the next four words. All right. That was so fast. Are the next four words we're gonna hear together that was so fast that was so fast it's right there and then i'm gonna tap on split here below and divide the clip into two now i'm going to zoom in a little bit so we see what we're doing this is the clip we just cut out right and let's triple tap on it again one two three and it brings us here so what we're gonna do here is remove every other word except for that was so fast the four words we need all right that was so fast. And again, we're going to format it how I like it, two words on top of each other. And then we're going to check. We're going to find next 
that was so fast I couldn't follow along. So go ahead and listen. I couldn't even follow along. I couldn't even follow, right? But I couldn't even follow is going to be long. So let's find three words. I couldn't even, right? Couldn't even. All right, right there, we're going to split it. And then we're going to triple tap. And then we're going to remove everything else except I couldn't even. Remove that, that as well. And of course, we're going to put them on top of each other. Like that. I couldn't even. And the next words are follow along. I couldn't even. Follow along. Follow along. And we're going to cut it right there. So now we know here, one, two, three, triple tap. We know we only need the words follow along. I'm going to remove that. All right. Now let's listen to the clip once again to determine our next word. I got you. That so we're going to remove every other word except for the words. I got you. I got you. And even though they are just three words, I like to still format it just like that. And we're going to add like an exclamation just to give, you know, like a balance. Yeah, I got you. The next words are going to be tap the link in, right? Listen to that. You tap the link up. Here. Split that, triple tap and remove everything else except for the words. Tap the link up. All right. And let's go ahead and format it. Right. Tap the link up. Let's listen to the next four words in my bio. In my bio. Those are three words, but yeah. Remove that. Remove that. And format. Right. In my bio. Let's listen to the next words. And watch the whole. And watch the whole. We're going to split it right there. One, two, three, triple tab. And we're going to remove everything else except for the words and watch the whole. Right. Format it and watch the whole video. All right. We know the last one is video. So we're going to remove everything else except for the word video. Now for the last piece in our video says, let's hear that. And follow for more. And follow for more. So triple tab. And then uh, let's just format that since that's all we have. Return. And then. All right, now let's watch and see if everything looks good. Oh my God, Heidi, that was so fast. I couldn't even follow along. I got you. Tap the link up in my bio and watch the whole video and follow for more. You want to go back and then tap on this white balloon kind of thing up here. And now we want to go ahead and delete the TikTok template that we added. All right. So we have our video without the template. And let's watch that one more time and I'll show you the very last step you need to complete this whole edit. Let's see that. Oh my God, Heidi, that was so fast. I couldn't even follow along. I got you. Tap the link up in my bio and watch the whole video and follow for more. Okay, that looks perfect. Now, what's the need of creating a piece of content if you don't export it, right? So go ahead and tap on the arrow in the upper right corner and uh, export your video. Thank you very much guys for watching and please don't forget to leave your feedback in the comment section below as I really do look forward to reading them. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and tap on the notification bell so that you receive a notification every time I upload a brand new video. With that being said guys, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.